Hello everyone. Welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Young and the Restless spoilers, Kyle Abbott's mother is about to lose patience as he continues to sabotage Diane Abbott at Javo. She has made her orders plain in the past, and as his boss, he is not following them as well as he should. Diane has given him numerous chances. However, will she drop the ultimate hammer after his most recent betrayal? The Young and the Restless Spoilers Kyle Abbott goes against his mother's work wishes. According to YNR Spoilers, despite Diane's straight and unambiguous directive regarding a new deal, Kyle utterly ignored her instructions and proceeded with locking it in. Diane didn't mince words when she told Kyle not to finalize the papers. But shortly after their chat, he went to the phone and told his assistant to push it through. Diane and Kyle have been at odds for quite some time, and Miss Abbott has let many things slip, owing mostly to Kyle's status as her son. Will this be the last straw? Wine and our spoilers. Jack Abbott, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Diane will be upset once she learns what Kyle has done. She might even fire Kyle on the spot. Of course, Jack Abbott is likely to have the final say in a situation like this, and he will support Diane. For a long time, Jack has been stuck between these two. While Diane will be correct in her decision to terminate Kyle, the main reason Jack would support his wife is the recent hard situation with him going off the wagon. Diane was apprehensive that Jack as Nikki Newman's AA sponsor, would have him using medications again, and that is exactly what happened. Diane was especially outraged since Jack risked his sobriety and life for his ex. While Nikki went to treatment and Jack recovered, things could have turned out far worse, and Diane was astounded that Jack had not considered the consequences of his actions. Jack is in the doghouse for all of this, so will he try to get out of it by supporting Diane's decision to dismiss Kyle? Will Kyle get fired from Jabo for his recent actions? Young and the Restless Spoilers for Thursday, May 23 reveal that some significant plot developments are on the way in Genoa City. One character's escape plan is foiled, while a family rallies around one of their own, and someone returns home. What kind of drama might fans expect on Thursday's show? Time to find out. The Young and the Restless Spoilers. Jordan's plan is foiled. Why in our spoilers for Thursday, May 23, indicate that Jordan's effort to escape her dungeon cell will be stopped by none other than Victor Newman. Cole Howard spotted his aunt on Wednesday's show, and although she tried to persuade him to release her, he left her behind. After some thinking, Cole reached out to Michael Baldwin. Nevertheless, Fans are unsure what will happen next. Victor most likely has security cameras in the dungeon, so if he discovers that Cole paid a visit to Jordan, will he send the psychopath elsewhere? I and R spoilers. The Abbots make a vow. According to Y and R teasers for Thursday, May 23, Jack Abbott and Tracy Abbott will do everything they can to help Ashley Abbott. Ashley fainted on Wednesday's episode after talking with Tucker McCall. Will she wind up in the hospital? Could this be the occurrence that finally gets Ashley the care she requires? The Young and the Restless Spoilers. Welcome home, Nikki Newman. Finally, Y and R spoilers for Thursday indicate that Nikki Newman will come home from rehab. But given what she is returning to, will she wish she had stayed at the institution for a few more days? Because Jordan is imprisoned up in the dungeon at the Newman Ranch, if Victor transfers the villainess, will Nikki come across both of them? It appears that the Melstache will be unaware that Nikki is returning home so soon. Will Miss Newman have a relapse before she can celebrate her recovery? Fans will need to tune in to find out. What are you most looking forward to from Thursday's show? The Young and the Restless Spoilers for the week of May 27-31 to 31 state 
that Victor Newman will need to put out some fires with prisoner Jordan. Can Victor keep the cops from getting involved and making this a major legal mess? Cole Howard is a wild card because he knows the truth about Jordan being kept captive and disagrees with Victor's approach to the situation. Even if Cole does not contact the authorities, he could easily reveal the true Jordan story to Victoria Newman and possibly Claire Grace as well. Whatever the case may be, Jordan's fate appears to be sealed for the time being. Victor Cole, Michael Baldwin, and anybody else who learns of the secret may establish a temporary deal to remain silent. Summer Newman will make a choice after hearing Claire's plea. Claire will make another pitch to be Harrison Abbott's babysitter, and Summer may be surprised by all of the study she has done on children's learning styles. Given Claire's dedication and Harrison's strong desire for her to be the nanny, our predictions suggest Summer may ultimately cave in, but only for a trial run. If Summer does submit, Claire may offer to show that she has changed by being the best nanny she can be for Harrison. Of course, Kyle Abbott will be ecstatic if Summer finally agrees to hire Claire. Kyle will undoubtedly become closer to Claire if she becomes Harrison's official nanny, and his feelings may soon turn love. At Chancellor Winters, I and our spoilers predict Lily Winters and David Hamilton Winters will continue to conspire against Billy and Jill Abbott. Although Lily's plot to disrupt the merger may go forward, it has the potential to backfire catastrophically and result in negative news. That's especially critical now that untrustworthy Audra Charles is getting too close to Nate Hastings and may begin moving some chess pieces. Although Tucker McCall will be upset over his separation with Audra, he may become more concerned about Ashley Abbott's health as her condition worsens. Will Ashley's family get her committed soon? Could the real Ashley come to the surface long enough to accept true help? Alan Laurent will continue to do everything he can for Ashley, but it's evident that she requires a whole team of professionals in a control atmosphere. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Ashley's narrative will take some unexpected turns, so stay tuned for updates on all of her changes and the upheaval that awaits. The young and the restless spoilers put an end to Davin and Billy's childish squabbles by having Jack explain how mature business people settle conflicts. Will Davin and Billy listen? Behavioral modification. We recognize that Davin and Billy are officially adults. They both have children. They have been married multiple times. They can drink and vote. What they cannot do is act like adults at work. They just keep shooting at each other before going to Lily to whine about the other being a big bully. We have had enough. Fortunately, Jack has had enough, too. So he takes on the role of an older statesman and teaches a lesson on professional behavior. Will either one listen to him? Get me out of here. Surprisingly, Jordan dislikes being imprisoned up in Victor's basement dungeon. So she is preparing yet another escape. Jordan has a track record of avoiding prison and past incarceration, so our money is on her. Especially if Cole follows his instincts, spies on Victor, and runs into his aunt. Will she be able to convince him to let her go? Or will Victor's arrogance lead to his demise in another way? New man, new plan. Since her arrival in Geno City, Audra has never been without a male friend. Frankly, now that we've met her, we have no idea what this mature woman saw in a child like Noah Newman. Kyle seemed like a petulant little child next to her. Tucker, on the other hand, identifies with her grandfather rather than her father. We doubt he will ever get the energy to keep up with her. Which leaves Nate. Nate does not appear to be either too old or too young. He appears to be overly stupid, but so does everyone else. These two could function well together. And by work, we mean as long as Nate lets Audra take the initiative on everything. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.